one year um, regarding uh, what Todge and Nut were sitting down and Oprah, and speaking to Oprah about, it was meant to be one year that they were going to update Oprah on regarding their time living in America. That was the narrative. And I'm proving to you now that that was a narrative by the palace. And then Todge and Nut have gone with it, but they've forgotten the timelines. The reason why March 2021, the actual interview was released at that point, because what do you know, March 2021 then goes with the narrative of one year interview, oh, sorry, one year of recollections since they've been in America, supposedly. That's, that's the public narrative. They moved from Canada to US in March 2021. And then from March up until um, early July, they were living at Tyler Perry's home and then they moved to Montecito, if you can recall that. So just let's go back to, let's compare this to the last video where Todger and Nutt still go with the one-year narrative, but Netflix doesn't seem to align with what they're saying and tells us that the um that the interview was held in January 2021 meaning that one year ago was January 2020 and then if we go by Todger's five months in Windsor and then he was living in the US well that goes back to um October 2020 one month or so that uh, Fiblet was in the womb. Yeah, this is a big deal. I know I've wow. been working on the questions all weekend long. I'm told that nothing is off limits. Nothing. Nothing is off limits. All right. okay. She can ask anything she wants. The couple really want this to be an interview in which they can sit down and tell their side of the story. Up until now, we've heard versions of their story through the voices and the retelling of other people. This is their first opportunity to sit down and talk about the past year in their own words. <laughs> it's a very real thing to be going through. Opportunity to sit down and talk about the past year in their own words. Royal Ro Royal Rotors Daily Mail, um, and I'm sure others as well, um, at that time, this is 3rd of March 2021, do state that it was a year that they were recording about as well. So further confirming that this was the narrative that we were meant to um, believe. Just going to... Oprah has promised view viewers there will be shocking revelations and no subject off limits in the candid discussion with a couple who have been at odds with the rest of the royals since stepping back from their royal duties last year while contacting them on the same day. <laughs> and having... So I was saying having regular contact with um with his grandmother actually better than ever better than his whole life uh, while he's been living in the USA. In the transcript of the Oprah interview, Todd also confirms that it was a re regarding the year that he was being interviewed for. He says this year has been crazy for everybody. Previously, he said, um, I'm paraphrasing here, something about um, for the last year that he's spoken, he's been in communications with Her Majesty the Queen uh, more times um, or more regularly than he was prior. Like his relationship was better, actually much better over the last year him living in the U.S., than it's ever been him living in the UK. In the transcript of the Oprah interview, Todd also confirms that it was a re regarding the year that he was being interviewed for. He says this year has been crazy for everybody. Previously, he said 
um, I'm paraphrasing here, something about um, for the last year that he's spoken, he's been in communications with Her Majesty the Queen uh, more times um, or more regularly than he was prior. Like his relationship was better, actually much better over the last year him living in the US than it's ever been him living in the UK. I should also also <laughs> I should also mention that uh, in the transcript, um, Nut says that this morning she woke up to uh, earlier than Todge and saw a note from someone on our team in the UK. So this is meant to be um, regarding the Duke of Edinburgh had gone to the hospital. He went to hospital on the 17th of February 2021. Um, so a year before that, if that's what this whole recording of the, um, interview was about, would be, still, would be, um, would be, sorry, I just had a mental blank, would be February 2020. That is still way before Megxit. Megxit happened in March 2020. Um, they were still living supposedly in Canada by that point and had fled during COVID, do you remember? So this is still debunking everything that we've been told and sold. Um, but it is a really important point that uh, they still have a team in the UK as non-working royals and she still, despite everything that happened to them, which is completely fabricated and untrue and used to distract you and manipulate you into believing the reasons as to why they, they, they moved to the U S supposedly that they were still in regular communications with her majesty, the queen. Now just remember that not has just said regarding that Prince Philip being in the hospital on the 17th of uh, February 2021 that she was um, pregnant and had her bump that size on 17th of February 2021 with fiblet. Do you remember that February the 14th, so three days earlier on Valentine's Day, she put out these amazing non photoshop photos of Miss Anne Harriman <laughs> who has this guy has fought for truth and freedom and his own defense because these these photos are legit and authentic look at her look at her bump look at her bump february 14th 2021 or before that this is her bump now let's compare to 3 days later Three days after Nut's Valentine's Day shot of her being a balloon or a beach whale, uh, at that size and scale of being pregnant, uh, three days later, she looks very deflated. Do you see how this is one big joke that we're not laughing about? This is the uh, line to our throne that's been fabricated Fabricated by the royal family, fabricated by these these people, by the entire world. Look at that. Look at that joke. <laughs>